work. Um, go to the blueletterbible.org. It's a real good search engine um, if you want to try it out. I know they're getting a lot of a lot of messages about you know uh, being caught up and when this event's going to take place and 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 the resurrection. Understand that being caught up to be changed is the resurrection. Okay. Go to the Blue Letter Bibles where I'm at right now. You see it here. Type in at at the last day. Okay. Hit the search, and it will bring up all the scriptures that say the last day. Now look what's going on here. I'm going to bring this up. See, at the last day, you see it five times. Look what Jesus says right here. Can you see that? John 6, 39, And this is the Father's will that has sent me, that all which have given me I should lose none, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him, he may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, who have eternal life, I will raise him up at the last day. Now listen to what Martha says in John 11:24, speaking about her brother Lazarus. Martha said unto him, that's Jesus, I know that he, that's speaking of her brother, Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Martha puts this, what Jesus is talking about, I'll raise him up, I'll raise him up, I'll raise him up at the last day. Martha tells right here, makes it very clear, they believed that he's gonna, they're going to rise and the resurrection at the last day, showing that this caught up, this, this rise again, raise up, the resurrection happens on the last day. There is no way possible that Jesus can come before the last day to, to resurrect you what, what they call the rapture um, um, the Bible speaks of it being called you know the resurrection many call it the rapture but it says very clearly it's going to happen on the last day if you are raptured out of here seven years before the tribulation or three and a half years before the tribulation that is not the last day so if you go and and you look at scriptures that talk about that you're going to find out also that it calls it the day of the Lord the day of the trumpet the day of wrath Paul even talked about in 2 Thessalonians about the coming of the Lord and our gathering together unto him he put it on the same day he said that day shall not come if Paul you know if, if it was um two separate events Paul would have said so he would have said those days and not that day but take the time to go and look and you're going to understand when you look at all these scriptures that raised up rise change resurrection uh, is the rapture and it happens on the last day so we can't be raptured out of here seven years before three and a half years before as I said you know it has to be on the last day it has to line up with scripture so, so go and look these things up. Look at the day of the trumpet, the day of the Lord, the coming of the Lord, all these things. Um, it's called the day of judgment. The, the, I mean, just the day of wrath, all these things. And it happens, Paul also said the last trumpet. The last trumpet is the last day. And what we see happening here is when you go and study the last trumpet, it says very clearly the mysteries of God should be finished. It's done. It's over with, you know. And when this happens, this event happens, that we're resurrected, we're changed, a moment, twink of an eye at the last trump, when this happens, that's why the wrath of God that comes after it does it doesn't affect us because we are no longer mortal. We're no longer we've been changed. So it won't affect us. God's wrath will be poured out on the wicked. And it's the seven vials, which are the seven last plagues, according to Revelations fifteen, one, six, seven, and eight. And also Revelation 16, 1, the seven vials, the seven last plagues. And if you look through Scripture and in, in, in Revelation, you're going to find out that God's wrath is poured out in only one hour. So it don't take God, no, three and a half or seven years to pour out his wrath. He'll do it in one hour. So what ends up happening is we got the, the Great Tribulation, which very clearly tells us it's 42 months. It's been shortened uh, three and a half years. If you figure out 42 months, it's three and a half years. And that is the raft of Satan, according to Revelations 12, 12. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, and see, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. We will face, we are appointed, and we will face Satan's wrath. It's God's wrath we won't face. So once this tribulation happens, immediately after the tribulation, Matthew 24, verse 29 through 31, Mark 13, verse 24 through 27, we will see very clearly that Jesus comes immediately after the tribulation. We will, we will be raised up rise change resurrected rapture that takes place okay we meet him in the air we're changed 
And then what ends up happening? God's wrath is poured out upon the wicked that's on the earth. So I hope this really helps. I hope that, you know, that you really get into the Word of God and, and, and look for these things. Uh, check out the uh, blueletterbible.org. Uh, it's real quick uh, Bible search deal that's really easy to do if you want to, you know, check these things out for yourself. Again, don't take my word for it. Don't take anyone's word for it. Take the Word of God. Jesus' Word you can trust. I do know that Jesus' Word, the Word of God, will get us into the kingdom. So just, you know, continue to do that. All right. God bless.